And we told you that we have a guest in studio. Now, main guest studio, I'm a padlock. Okay, first of all, Octopizo, you're a padlock. Ni anini. Ati you got locked. How are you doing, man? Good, how are you? Very, very good. Mm-hmm. Second time this year. Congratulations, because you, by the time you came in studio the first time and now, eh, hey, to Mingi uh, you're just leveling, leveling up. I came when you guys were interns. Now you're yeah, employed. now we're employed. Uh, oh, level my up, God. Level, level up. up. Yeah. Level up for yeah. real. <laughs> so um, you started the Octo Pisa Foundation, right? And you've also teamed mm-hmm. up with um, UNICEF and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, what more do you see yourself doing this year to give back to the community? Um, this year, like, like, uh, this year was mostly like working on the album and it was been stressful mm-hmm. it's been, mm-hmm. like, uh, to make sure everything was perfect. So I haven't done much this year, but, uh, I should be doing something, mm-hmm. uh, uh, on, in June, mm-hmm. we are taking TEDx to, to, to the camps. So I'm doing TEDx this year in the refugee camp and mm-hmm. to just to let them know or experience what really happens there. People mm-hmm. don't know. Mm-hmm. Do uh, you? Mm-hmm. It's huge. <laughs> do you think th- do you think this uh, programs work for the people who are affected? My programs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, our, our foundation is simple. We use music and art to impact people's lives because that's how I. That's why I'm octo. Right. You know, so I use what I know. So and the reason I'm in school now is because I'm studying social impact strategies, how to impact not just my community but because i'm going like in uganda i'm going to rwanda i'm mm-hmm. trying to expand and to reach uh, more young people who probably after high school they don't know what to do mm-hmm. so we our programs are uh, entrepreneurship programs and okay. music arts and sport okay. something so how do you use your talent to 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 have a livelihood mm-hmm. you know so it's not we how are not has that worked it's amazing mm-hmm. you know and and i use myself as the thesis like this this it worked this, for you it worked for me yeah. and this is what i did mm-hmm. so if i can share the same with other guys who probably don't know how i go where i was mm-hmm. probably it will take them less years mm-hmm. than it took me to be who i am and also just kno- having the knowledge that i have and why not share mm-hmm. you know why why not share how to be successful or how to be a great artist. You're also the ambassador for awareness against uh, women violence, like gender mm-hmm. violence. Why mm-hmm. that charity? Uh, is like f- first, I don't believe in charity. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's a difference between charity and giving back. Mm-hmm. So charity is I have and you don't. Mm-hmm. So it's like oh, I'm just gonna. I didn't. I don't need this. I'm gonna give you because you guys are like dying. Mm-hmm. You know, like you're hungry. It's like when you travel and you're in your hotel room and they always show dying babies in Africa and it sucks, mm-hmm. you know. And I, so I don't believe in charity. I think it's a, it's a way of brainwashing or, ma- or belittling mm-hmm. people. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I believe in giving back because I understand what you're going through because maybe I've gone through it too or because I've seen people like that. And so when I give you one pair of shoe, it's because I know what walking without a shoe is, not because I, I can afford to buy a shoe for you. Mm-hmm. You know, and to your question, it's just because uh, we are from an African culture where some things like as we grow up, we grow up in families where your parents don't tell you they love you. You know, they fight all the time and it's normal. Mm-hmm. And as you grow and you realize and you travel and, and time is changing and you feel like some stuff are not normal, you know, mm-hmm. and you get affected mm-hmm. by these things as a young age. And most of the time they like uh, think men are so understand, especially young men who are like starting relationships and stuff. And this thing goes back to traumas of their parents, like them seeing mm. crazy stuff. And it was normal. You know, in, in those cultures, it was normal. Like when you see your mom being slapped by your dad and you don't understand and you can't question. Mm. So, so for you, it's actually so for us, yeah. normal. Yeah, for mm-hmm. us, it's like, okay, this is not cool. You know, if like, if somebody touched my daughter, they're dead. Like, forget mad people. There's no relationship that is going to be perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, people will have disagreements, but people should learn how to disagree. You know, like if you're mad, wh- what are you gonna do when you're mad? Mm-hmm. There's people. People will always get you mad. Not only your wife or your girlfriend. Just how, you how do you train? In life. Yeah. yeah. So it's just how do we train these young people to get that energy? Some if you're mad, you can leave and go go for a walk or like actually when you run, mm-hmm. it really you know, takes or run or energy. like mm-hmm. you know go do something. But we have to give them thi- something to do. You know we. We come from places where there's no even spaces. Our house, we didn't have like bedrooms, you know. There's a curtain, so your mom sleeps there with your dad and you're here. They're fighting, you see everything. 
We don't have spaces. This thing is crazy. People just think it's a small mm-hmm. thing, but it's a big deal, which like many kids are going through every day. And if there will be like spaces where like these kids can just go hang out when these guys start quarreling and they come back when it's done, or the parents can mm-hmm. know how to like exactly. okay, we can't fight here. It's can we go? Kids, can yeah. we go for a walk and disagree and ourselves? Yes. Yeah. So it's just this is why. This is why for me. Anyway, tomorrow you're dropping your album. Yeah. And uh, where can we find your album once it's out? And so al- what time is it? Uh, the album itself will be out by 8 a.m. exclusively on iTunes. No hard copies. No okay. Nothing. So oh. only iTunes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm Next year is like the way people say it, tomorrow. You know, it's like futuristic. It's yeah. like right. it's never going to come. It's like ah, leaders, youth are leaders of tomorrow. Or like mm-hmm. when... When it's December and artists start saying like, ah, next year's next my year, year you know, yeah. like, hey. So it's just like, future never coming. It's like infinity. It's like, hey. I'm here, my fans, bye. Ah, I'm here, 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 Representing and now listening to It's Not Homo Gang.